Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. Let's learn how to use a Pullinger's apparatus to determine the coefficient of linear expansion of a metal rod. Firstly, we measure the original length of the metal rod whose coefficient of linear expansion is to be determined. Let the original length of the metal rod be L. The Pullinger's apparatus is a wooden frame with a cavity where a metal rod can be inserted. There is an inlet and an outlet for steam. There is also a small cavity for holding the thermometer. There is a metal plate at the bottom of the cavity. When the metal rod is inserted into the cavity, it comes in contact with this metal plate. Now the given metal rod is inserted into the cavity of Pullinger's apparatus. The thermometer is adjusted and the initial temperature of the metal rod is noted. Now the spirometer is adjusted as in figure and the galvanometer circuit is connected to the spirometer and to the metal plate. The galvanometer circuit is connected in such a way that whenever the screw of a spirometer comes in contact with the upper end of the metal rod, the circuit is completed and the galvanometer shows the deflection. Now the spirometer is rotated until the screw comes in contact with the upper end of the metal rod and the galvanometer shows the deflection. And at this point, the reading of the spirometer is noted as initial reading. Now the spirometer is unscrewed and loosened. Then the steam is passed through the inlet. The metal rod absorbs the heat from the steam and increases in temperature. Due to increase in temperature, the metal rod undergoes linear expansion. So there is a little increase in length of the metal rod. After the steam is passed for some time and the metal rod is allowed to expand, the final temperature of the metal rod is noted. Now the spirometer is again rotated until the screw comes in contact with the upper end of the metal rod and the galvanometer show the deflection. The reading of the spirometer at this point is again noted, which is called the final reading of the spirometer. Now from linear expansion we have the coefficient of linear expansion alpha is equal to delta L divided by L times delta theta. Here delta L is equal to the final reading of its parameter minus the initial reading of its parameter and delta theta is equal to the final temperature of rod minus the initial temperature of rod. Since we know all the quantities in the right hand side we can easily calculate alpha, which is the coefficient of linear expansion of the given metal rod. If you are finding the videos useful, 
please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.